Packing Face provides a large number of open source models that you can use in your own applications. This also includes a number of large language models. On the other hand, Langchain is a powerful platform that lets you build apps based on large language models. In this video, I want to show you two ways in which you can use large language models from Hugging Face with Langchain. The first option is to access uh, models hosted on Hugging Face through an API. In this case, uh, the Hugging Face Hub is the server that has the models and we are going to be making API calls to access the models. Uh, second option is to download all these models locally and then use Hugging Face uh, pipelines to interact with these models. The usage of the models through API call is great because you don't really have to install anything locally. You just make, you need to make API calls and you get the response from the models. And you have a wide uh, selection of models to choose from. So for example, they even provide API calls uh, for stable LM from Stability AI or Dolly from Databricks. On the other hand, in some cases, you might want to run these models locally. For example, if you want to fine tune them, then you need to fine tune them locally. Or uh, if you have a powerful enough GPU, then you can also run them locally. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interact with these models using both options in Langchain. So let's look at the Google Colab notebook. Uh, I will put a link to this notebook in the description of the video. So there are two types of models that uh, Hugging Face supports. The first one is text-to-text -text generation models. These are sequence-to-sequence -sequence models. They are also called encoder-decoder model. And the second one is uh, text generation models or decoder-only models. Now, if you want to see what type of models are available on Hugging Face, so go to Hugging Face, then click on Models, and then under NLP or Natural Language Processing, you can look at different uh, types of models that are available. So you have the text generation models uh, and text to text generation. Let's look at a few text generation models. Uh, you have a whole bunch of options here, right? Similarly for text to text generation models, you have a huge selection to choose from. First, we will install all the required packages. So in this case, we are installing the Langchain Hugging Face Hub for the API calls. And since we want to do a local install, so we are going to be using transformers and then accelerate and uh, bits and bytes uh, for processing the data. Now, we don't need sentence transformer. This is useful when you are doing embedding. But in this case, I am not uh, going to be discussing the uh, embedding models. Next, you want to get your Hugging Face API token uh, and set an environment variable uh, using that token. If you don't know how to get the token, so go back to your Hugging Face account, click on settings, then go to access tokens. You can actually click on a new token, give it a name, and then click generate token. That will generate a token for you. And after that, you can simply uh, click on this copy token to the clipboard that will copy the token and just come here and paste the token. First, let's look at an example of how you can access a model from Hugging Face Hub through the API. So in this case, we are going to be using a prompt template. If you don't know what prompt template is, think about it as a simple F string in Python. So basically you pass on the information, then within the uh, brackets, the curly brackets, you have the question or the prompt that you want to provide to your model, right? Uh, so whenever a user provide this specific variable that is going to be pasted in here and the rest of the uh, uh, prompt will remain the same. And uh, the prompt template is basically you pass on the, the template and then what question you're expecting. I have a detailed video uh, on describing prompt templates. So I will put a link uh, to that video. Next, we are defining a chain. The chain has two components. First is the prompt. So that is the prompt template that we uh, designed. And the second part is the large language model that we want to use. So in this case, I am using Google Flan T5 Excel. Now, if you don't know how, where this comes from, so let me show you. So go back to Hugging Face, click on models, right? And in this case, we want to look at text-to-text uh, -text generation models. So that's the first example we're looking at. So here is a list of all available uh, encoder-decoder models. 
or sequence to sequence models or uh, text text generation model all these uh, terms are used interchangeably so then uh, you select one of them so let's say uh, let's go here right and you simply need to copy this part so if you click on uh, this icon this will copy uh, this part uh, this is a model card you can actually uh, read about the whole model uh, for example in this case it supports uh, multiple languages it's a sequence to sequence model um, and they are like one uh, common application of sequence to sequence model is a translate language translation so that's why it uh, supports multiple languages okay so that's how you uh, can choose a model based on uh, what uh, your requirements are and you can even run an api call here and see like how the inference is going to look like uh, so it makes a, an api call and here is the response uh, that we got now going back to our uh, google notebook okay so we simply uh, create a chain for our large language model and the, now in order to run this you will simply pass a question all right so that will become part of your uh, prompt template right uh, and then you simply call uh, the run function or uh, on your uh, language model chain it will generate a response so in this case the question was what is the capital of england and the response is london is the capital of england and the final answer is london now one great thing about um, accessing hugging face models uh, through the api is you can actually uh, use pretty large models right because you're not running them locally uh, in that case like you can use the extra extra large uh, flan t5 model uh, and there is going to be no constraint on it the only constraint is on the uh, server side so you probably want to have a powerful uh, gpu running on your spaces or otherwise it's going to be generating responses based on cpu only um, here's another example so i asked it what is area 51 famous for and the response is area 51 is famous for being the location of u.s government's uh, secret space program uh, the u.s government has been constructing a space station in area 51 the final answer is uh, space station but, uh, the quality of response is going to be dependent on the quality of the model that you're using uh, through the hugging face hub api okay, next let's let's look at how you can run these models locally using hugging face pipelines so in this case we are importing hugging face uh, pipeline from langchain and then from transformer we are going to be importing auto tokenizer auto model for causal lm uh, pipeline and then auto model for sequence to sequence lm uh, for local inference uh, it's a little involved uh, compared to if you're just using uh, the api call in this case first you need a model so that is defined by the model id in this case i am using um, a flan t5 small model because i don't really have enough vram to support it uh, but for this experiment we're going to choose a very small model next you need to have a tokenizer uh, trained specifically for this model so that's why we have this auto tokenizer then from pre-trained uh, and then you select the model uh, that you want to use every model has its own tokenizer that's why you need to be careful to initialize the tokenizer specific to that model and next uh, depending on the type of model that you choose whether it's a text-to-text -text generation model or text generation model so it means encoder decoder model or decoder model you will uh, need to say uh, to choose your model type so for this case we're using auto uh, model for sequence to sequence lm that is encoder decoder model and then from pre-trained you pass on the model id along with uh, if it's a big model you probably want to load it uh, in 8-bit not the full model in 16 or 32 bit if it's a quantized model let's say in 4 bits quantized so you don't really want to do it either and then the device type is auto in this case uh, the, it depends on how many gpus you have if you want to uh, ha uh, have multiple gpus and want to use them so you can uh, provide the map over here okay so you simply initialize your model using this now, next we need to put everything together in a pipeline so first we need to define the type of pipeline is it a text to text generation or text generation so the model that we are using is to text to text model that's why the pipeline type is uh, text to text generation then you define the model the corresponding tokenizer and the max uh, length 
and then next using the hugging face pipeline from langchain we simply create a local uh, large language model you know in order to get a prediction from this model there are two ways you can do it either you can simply pass the uh, prompt directly to the uh, local lnm that we created or you can use a chain so again i'm using a chain uh, and if you run this, uh, the response is England is the capital of England. The capital of England is London. So the answer is London. Uh, keep in mind, we are running a very small uh, model. That's why the answer is not really coherent. In this last example, we will look at how you can run a decoder-only model. For this example, I am using a GPT-2 medium model, which is a pretty old model, so it's not really great. Uh, but just want to show you how to use a text generation model. Now the tokenizer again uh, needs to be uh, pre-trained for this specific model. That's why we pass on the model ID. But now the model uh, is uh, auto model for causal LM, not sequence to sequence LM, right? And you pass on the model ID again, right? In the pipeline, we have the text generation now instead of text to text. Uh, and then the model uh, tokenizer and again, the uh, corresponding maximum length that you want. Right? And you simply define uh, the local uh, uh, LNM using the hugging face pipeline from Langchain. And for inference, the rest of the prediction process is very similar. You simply need to define a uh, chain uh, with a prompt in your local LNM, and uh, then you simply run the chain on your prompt. I hope uh, this video was useful. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below. I'll try my best to answer them. As usual, if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. This helps with the algorithm. If you want to learn more about Langchain, I have a crash course on it. So uh, check this next video on Langchain. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.